Hello friends and welcome. Today I'm excited to try out seven different products from a recently launched makeup line called Rare Beauty so we can see how these products work for those of us with mature skin. I have high hopes that two of these products might be especially wonderful for those of us over 50. Before we get started, I want to give a special welcome to those of you who are new to my channel. My name is Elise, and seven years ago, after I, quote, retired from a 35-year career in public television, I launched a next career as a professional makeup artist specializing in helping women over 50 look like the very best version of themselves. I worked as a makeup artist for a major cosmetics line for six years and also launched my own company, Boomer and Beyond Beauty, so I could specialize in helping those of us who are older with makeup techniques through in-person classes, individual consultations, and presentations to various women's groups. And I'm now loving the opportunity to meet and work with some wonderful women through online Zoom consultations. And if you're interested in learning more about Zoom consultations, please check out the information in the description box below. So if beauty product reviews and learning makeup tips and techniques that work for us now sound interesting, I hope you'll join our really wonderful family of subscribers. And if you'd like to be notified each Thursday when a new video is available, all you need to do is hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon below the video and to the right. And I thank you so very much in advance if you decide to do so. Now, let's focus on today's topic, a new line of makeup that I'll be trying out to see how it works on mature skin. And I have to give a special shout out and thanks to the woman who suggested this topic and who's made it possible, my youngest daughter, Erin. Erin is a beauty editor for an online publication called Who, What, Where and is based in Los Angeles. We haven't seen her for a very long time due to COVID, and I'm sure you've had similar situations. And my husband and I are so thankful and thrilled that she was able to fly in from LA to be with us for the holidays. And she brought these wonderful products with her so we could both try them. I'm filming this video a few weeks ahead of the time you're actually seeing it, so the article she'll be writing about these products most likely will have been written and published by now. And if that's the case, I'll put a link to her article in the description box. The product line we're trying out today is called Rare Beauty, and it was created by Selena Gomez. Now, I'm sure that name probably sounds familiar to many of you, but in case not, she's a 28-year-old singer, actress, and producer. I really didn't know that much about her, so I was curious to find out a little bit more, and it turns out she began her career when she was just 10 years old on the public television series Barney and Friends. She gained wider recognition from a role on the Emmy award-winning Disney Channel series called Wizards of Waverly Place from 2007 to 2012. She's also starred in 10 movies and has executive produced two Netflix TV series. In addition, she's recorded three albums with her former band and three albums as a solo artist. She also has a clothing line, a handbag line, a fragrance line, and a production company and has been involved with various charitable organizations. And at 17, she was appointed a UNICEF ambassador. I thought this was quite an amazing list of accomplishments for a young woman of only 28, who also unfortunately has several major health issues as well. But before I try out her makeup line, I just have to share a funny story with you that has a connection with Selena's first acting role on Barney and Friends and me and my daughter Erin. <laughs> Do you all remember Barney, by the way, the big purple dinosaur that was popular with kids in the 90s? Well, the show was a huge hit on public television and the PBS station where I worked was one of several stations that was able to bring Barney into our studios for a special event live performance. Since staff members were able to bring their children, I was thrilled that I was able to bring Erin down to the station. She was about three years old at the time, and during the event, the kids were encouraged to sing and dance along with Barney, and Erin joined in along with a studio full of other children brought to the event by their parents and grandparents. But I will never forget that day because of something else that happened as we were driving home. Erin was in a car seat in the back seat of the car, and was so excited about the experience of seeing Barney that she threw up. <laughs> and I'm sure she's absolutely thrilled that I've shared this story with you today. 
Selena Gomez's rare beauty makeup line is carried by Sephora and includes 14 different products, and I'll be trying seven of them today. There's a dual-ended retractable eyebrow pencil in this line, which has a pencil on one end and brow gel on the other end, which costs $22. But the one, unfortunately, that Erin was sent was too dark for both of us. So I went ahead and applied my own eyebrow products and eye primer. And I'm actually really sorry we don't have the eyebrow product to show you because I love the idea of combining a retractable pencil and gel in one dual-ended product. And I was really delighted to see that the eyebrow pencil gel combination comes in eight colors including gray. Now gray is not often included in many makeup lines, so big thanks to Selena for including options for those of us over 50 in her line. I also went ahead and applied the Rare Beauty Foundation and Concealer earlier because I wanted to have it on for a while before filming to see how it wore over a period of time and to see how it worked with other makeup. The packaging is really lovely, as you can see. This is such distinctive and unusual and interesting looking packaging. The foundation costs $29 and is described as medium to full coverage, weightless, and a product that melts into the skin. And it comes in 48 shades, so there's a wonderful range of color options. But the sample bottles Erin received, unfortunately, were both for warm undertones. So the colors that I put on were not quite right for my skin undertone. And just a note about the application of this foundation, it is absolutely necessary to shake the foundation quite vigorously before applying it. Unfortunately, however, immediately after I applied the foundation, it really accentuated texture and pores on my skin. So it was clear right from the get-go that it wasn't going to be working on my mature skin. So I did take it off and put on another foundation. The concealer also comes in 48 shades, is $19, and is described as being lightweight, hydrating, and brightening with a radiant finish. Because of the issues I had with the foundation, I decided not to try the concealer. But there are two limited edition eyeshadow palettes, and each is $25. One is called Magnetic Spirit, and the other is called Confident Energy. Here's the Magnetic Spirit palette, and here's the Confident Energy palette. I have to confess that I was a little hesitant to try these eyeshadow palettes because there are no matte shadows in either of them. The Magnetic Spirit palette has five metallics and one duochrome, and the Confident Energy palette has five metallics and one satin shimmer. But sometimes applying shimmers and metallics with a brush can mute the shine a bit, so I'll give the Confident Energy palette a try. I'm going to start off with this color, Trust. Then I'm going to apply some Gutsy, this color. Then I'm going to put this color, Devout, on my lids. And I'm going to put this gorgeous blue color called Willpower in the crease and outer lid area. So I'm starting off with Trust. It's a pretty color. And as you can see with my brush, I'm just carrying it up after most of the color has been deposited in the crease area and carrying it up toward my brow. So it becomes a little bit more diffused and just a very light version of that color as I go toward my brow. And now I'm taking this color Gutsy to put on the crease area to deepen that up in the outer area of my eye. And actually that came off stronger on the brush than I thought it was going to. So I'm going to do a little bit of blending here. Now I'm going to take this silver color called Devout and put that on my lid area. And next I'm taking this blue called Willpower and I'm going to put that in the outer area of the crease and the outer area of my eye. And I'm just going to stamp a little bit of it on. And actually I'm rather pleasantly surprised by how easily these apply. And now I'm going to go in with this deeper color Gutsy again to build that up a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and use my Laura Geller highlighter in French Vanilla, and I'm going to put this over the lid too. Also going to put it under the arch of my brow on the inner corner of my eye as well. I'm going to blend these in a little bit. Again, I'm starting off with Trust, just in the crease area of this eye. 
This has more of a satin finish, which really makes it apply easily. I'm going in with Gutsy, and then I'll follow that up with the beautiful blue Willpower in the crease area and the outer area of my eye. I kind of lost those colors on this eye, so I'm going to just go back and add a little bit more on this eye. Now I almost like just the look of this by itself, but I'm going to go ahead and add the deeper color, Gutsy, and then add a little bit of that beautiful blue, and then do some blending. I go back in with that lightest color. So again, I kind of lost it by putting the blue in there. Now I have to admit that this wouldn't be a palette I would go to on a regular basis. There certainly are some beautiful colors in here, but the metallics are just not usually the way I would want to go. Occasionally for a pop or for a special occasion, but on a day-to-day -day basis, my preference would be satin finish and mattes with maybe just a little bit of metallic from time to time. But there's certainly gorgeous colors in this palette. I must say something that is really nice is that I don't seem to be getting any fallout with this palette. I've gone ahead and added mascara and eyeliner to the eyes so we have a final eye look. And next I'm going to go ahead and try the blush. The blush is one of the two products I was really most excited about because it's a liquid which I think works very well for those of us with mature skin and the description indicates that it's also long lasting and as we all know blush so often disappears pretty quickly. The product description indicates that the blushes are infused with long lasting color pigments for all day wear and they can be layered on over liquid or powder without disturbing the makeup underneath. The blush comes in eight shades and it costs $20. And a little goes a very long way as you'll see. These are the colors I have and I'll be applying the shade Happy which is a lovely pink. This is the color Love. This is the color Joy which is a beautiful coral. And this is the color Happy which I'll be using. It has a large doe foot applicator as you can see and I'm going to apply just a little bit on the back of my hand. And that was just one swipe so you can see how very pigmented that is. So I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to dab it. Whoa! <laughs> that really comes off quite heavy. That's a beautiful color and it does blend in really nicely. I'm also going to take this brush and I'm going to use it just to blend it a little bit more. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the Liquid Luminizer, which is the second product that I was really looking forward to trying since it's also a liquid and has a beautiful soft glow. This comes in eight shades and I'm going to be applying the one called Mesmerize, which is a light pink. It's described as being a silky liquid which creates a dewy, buildable glow and it costs $22. And once again, a little goes a very long way, so this bottle would last a very long time. I'm going to go ahead and dot it on my fingers and then use a brush to blend it in. This is the other color I have which is called Transcend, more of a rose gold. And this is the color I'll be using called Mesmerize. Once again, it has a large doe foot applicator. I'm just taking a tiny bit and putting it on my finger and I'm just going to dab it right along the top edge of my cheekbone. This really glides on nicely and I'm going to use what's left on the other side. And I'm going to take the brush that I use for the blush and blend all of this together. So let me show you what that looks like. And finally, lipstick. I'm first going to apply my concealer around my lips and then my L'Oreal Age Perfect Lip Liner and then the Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm in the color Compliment, which is a deep plum shade. And to lighten that shade just a little bit and to brighten it, I'm going to be applying my liquid lip gloss over it. The lip balm is described as hydrating with dewy blendable color and it comes in seven different shades. These are the colors that I have. This is the color called Support and here's what that color looks like. This is the color Blessed. 
that's much more of a coral color as you can see. And this lip balm has some especially interesting packaging. It's flat on one side, which is really brilliant because that way when you put it down on a table or your vanity, it doesn't roll off. I don't know how easy this is to see, but it's round on one side and then it's flat on the other side. So I already have concealer around the edge of my lips and now I'm going to put on my lip liner. I'm going to be applying the Age Perfect Lip Liner in Bold Orchid. As you can see, for a lip balm, this has a lot of pigmentation. Now, if you didn't want quite as much, you could just dab a little bit on your finger and then just dot it on. But I wanted to go for a heavier application. And let me also show you the Cream Matte Lipsticks. This one is called Transform, and this one is called Hero, and I'll swatch them on the back of my hand for you. Transform is at the top and Hero is underneath it. So here are my thoughts on these products. First, the foundation and the concealer. As I mentioned earlier, immediately after applying the foundation before filming, it highlighted the texture of my skin and it also seemed to have a somewhat oily feel to it. So it may not be the foundation that would work well for most of us with mature skin. And because of my experience with the foundation, I chose not to try the concealer. I really did love the blush. I love the fact that it's a liquid blush. It applies really easily. It's highly pigmented and the real test will be to see how long it lasts on my cheek. I think it could be a lot longer wearing than many other blushes, but we'll see. And the Luminizer, I feel the same way. Again, it's a liquid. I loved the colors that were available. The one I have especially mesmerized was perfect for my skin tone. And it also applied so easily. And of course, you can always build it up to get even more of a glow or just apply a tiny bit as I did just to get a nice soft glow. I also tried the Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream a little bit earlier. I already showed you the colors and it went on very smoothly and felt really nice on the lips. It didn't feel the least bit dry and it also did dry down to a really nice matte finish. It's probably not as long lasting as other mattes due to the creamy texture it has, but it felt great and applied beautifully. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Rare Beauty product line and found it helpful. And if so, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. And if you've tried any products from this Rare Beauty makeup line, I hope you'll absolutely include some of your thoughts on the products that you've tried in the comments section below. I so appreciate your taking time out of your day to join me. And I hope you stay happy and healthy and have an absolutely fabulous rest of your day. Take care.